Right now, we might not have access to GPT-40 image generation on Perplexity AI. That model is still exclusive to ChatGPT. But just yesterday, OpenAI just launched a new AI image generation model called GPT Image 1, and this has similar capabilities to GPT 4.0. But unlike GPT 4.0, which is still exclusive to ChatGPT, this new model is available through API, which means third party platforms could utilize that model into their product. In fact, there are already some companies implementing that model into their products. Like, for example, there is this implementation from Adobe where a user can generate images using the model and there is also the implementation from Figma where the user can use that model to edit existing picture and that's basically some capabilities that are available on this model which is very similar to GPT-40. You can also use it to generate a transparent picture or even mimicking the style of an existing photo. So overall it covers almost everything in GPT-40 although some people argue that it's not as good but I would say it's still very close and given that this model is available through API I think that's still a win. Now this model is now available on Perplexity, uh, Perplexity AI and let me show you how you can use it on Perplexity. So first, let's navigate to the settings page and then you have to click preferences and then here on the AI image generation model, you want to select GPT image one. So that's the name of the model and now let's go back to the main page. And in order to use Perplexity to generating images, you can just send any prompt and send a message. For example, generate a picture of a dog playing with its toy. Okay, that's the prompt. And by the way, I was using an AI dictation tool called WhisperFlow. You can check it out in the video description. Now, let me just send a message. And by the way, it doesn't matter what LLM being used here because this prompt or this command will be sent to AI image anyway so it doesn't matter what LLM that is being used uh, for creating this thread so let me just send the message and just wait for GPT image 1 via perplexity to generate the picture and even though it has similar capabilities like GPT 4.0 I would say the quality is not exactly there but it's very close and it's still very very useful and another thing that you need to know here is that the time it took to generate one picture is quite a long, not as long as GPT-40, but it's quite long compared to Flux or Gemini 2.0. So you have to be patient when using this model. Now, in the meantime, let me show you a few examples that I just created using this model on Perplexity. One example is this picture of a coin and the problem was generate transparent picture of a gold coin with a dollar sign on it and this is the picture this is transparent definitely because you can see that there are some elements behind this picture behind this gallery view uh, that you can see which means this picture is transparent i think this is either png or webp because those two formats do support transparency and just for a comparison this is the picture from gbt 4 on chat gbt i would say it's more detailed but honestly there's nothing wrong with that. I would say this is more realistic, this is more cartoony, so I would say there's no right or wrong, there's no good or bad, they're actually great. And there's also this picture of Studio Ghibli. Uh, this is the original picture, and this is the creation of GBT Image 1, and this is the creation of GBT 4.0 via ChatGBT. I would say it's still way better than this, but again, it's quite close and maybe with a bit of prompting, I could get something that is very close to the styling of GPT-40. Now let's go back to the first picture. And there you go. So this is the picture and I would say the anatomy is not quite right. Maybe this is not how uh, dog fingers should look like. But if you ignore that part, I think the picture looks pretty realistic and could pass on as something that was real. So it's great that finally we have a better image model on Perplexity AI. And of course, you can use it to generate images. You can use it for creating content via Perplexity. Anyway, that's it for now. And be, uh, subscribe to this channel because I'm going to create more videos related to the GPT image one on Perplexity because there are a lot of other things that you can do with this new capability. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.